So good morning, everyone. Our lovely patient's allowing us to film. She's um, come here for some facial rejuvenation. So she's unhappy with the looseness in the neck over here. She's got a little bit of jowling over here. It's a mid-face um, descent, volume loss. She has lower eyelid fat herniation. She had a prior upper eyelid blepharoplasty. Close your eyes for me, Marilyn. But I'm gonna clean up a little bit more of the extra skin up there. And we're also gonna be doing a, a full face uh, laser skin resurfacing and the facial fat transfer. So why don't you rest your head back for me? So these are gonna be the typical incisions for the for the uh, neck lift. We're gonna start here. I pretty much, she's got a little um, crease here, so I'm gonna to try to follow the pre-existing crease that she has, and then when she's on the table, I'm gonna go ahead and just verify that the markings are good. This is essentially the inferior extent of my, of the skin elevation for the neck lift turn all the way to the right here for me and then the incisions are going to be following the hairline she's got a pretty thin hairline so i am going to bevel my incision here and we're going to go right back into the crease where the helix attaches to the side of the face here we're going to go retro tragal i make a little notch here to prevent blunting of that angle there We'll go post auricular. And then we'll go back here in the hairline. And here also we're gonna bevel the incisions. So the hair tends to grow back through the incision. We're gonna mark the deep plane entry point, which is the angle of the mandible to lateral canthus. And during surgery, you'll see me, we're gonna release the ligaments up here. She's got pretty wide zygoma. So it's gonna be a lot of ligaments here to release to pick up the mid face, which is also gonna improve the lower eyelid blepharoplasty appearance. We're gonna release the ligaments over the buccal area and masseteric ligaments to give release the jowls and we'll release the ligaments where the posterior part of the platysma attaches to the SCM muscles here to give her more contour. In here I'm going to see whether there's any fat subplatysmal. I don't feel too much fat subcutaneous over here. This is going to be the extent of the skin sub-Q elevation and that's the skin over here is going to meet the pocket of the neck elevation there. This is the frontal branch of the facial nerve, just as a little guiding point there. Thank you.